Greetings and salutations, my artsy friends. How is everyone? So good, I hope. I'm the last one up today. And I have just been trying to like keep myself busy doing other things all day. I tore apart a couple areas of my house just so I'd be busy and not thinking about 3.30, 3.30, 3.30. I did pop in on a couple of the workshops today. I will I will um, be sure to watch them tonight and tomorrow. And then Sunday, this it's this the greatest weekend of the year, isn't it? These weekends are so fun. So, hey Lens. So we are going to create a banner of, um, eggs. So I'm just all about eggs. I had a, a printable that that um, launched today that was all about Ukrainian eggs and that's a fundraiser for the Ukrainian people. And then I have all of these eggs. I'm telling you, I've just, I love Easter eggs. I love them so much. So if you're brand new to me, I am Ann Corbier Scott and I am um, the owner and operator of Ann Corbier Scott Designs. So if you would, um, if you would follow and like me on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube, and then I think you're supposed to subscribe too. Anyway, here we go. So my pal Carmen, the banner creator extraordinaire, created this gorgeousness for us to recreate. So here's what I did. So our, our printable is called Hippity Hoppity, right? So we have, we have an egg and then we have all of these flowers. And then in one of her samples, Carmen used this, the title of my, the name of my, my sheet. She cut that out and made a, um, made a little title card, like a sentiment thing on each of the panels of this printable. Shut it. Look at that. Gah! I just love it so much. I'm telling you. Okay, so here's, let's just get started. So Carmen printed all of hers on copy paper. So it's just on regular old copy paper. I printed two for our sample sake so that we can make a stuffed egg, right? So here we go. So I'm going to start with, so here's a cool thing you might consider. I have like all of the Prima marketing, um, well, I think it's called art something or other now, but um, it used to be called Prima Marketing and I have all of their sets. And so um, my friend Tessa, who's like so um, organized, she um, she created this organized sheet, stop it right now, this swatch kit for every, for every um, palette that I have. And so, um, let me put my water up here. So um, I have all of these, all of these colors in one big palette. And this big palette was like 20 bucks on, on um, Amazon. So I get my paint wet and then I just work that, work that water into the top of each little pan of color that I'm using. So then that's really nicely mixed because if you don't mix, then you're gonna get a kind of a mess. So I'm gonna put some over here on my palette. I have this idea that I wanna kind of do, um, I wanna do a little bit, um, kind of, um, multicolor eggs and you can absolutely overshoot the edge right because we're going to be um we're going to be fussy cutting these anyway right so and now i'm just going to come back in some with some water and just soften those edges 
disregard my doggy barking at all the neighbor dogs. Please. Some purple up here. I think I'm gonna do some, maybe some of this, this lighter blue. That's kind of pretty. Then I'm gonna come back in with just a watery brush. Soften those edges. Right? That's pretty. Okay, so I painted that, and now it dries all right. You know, it's going to be stuffed, so if it gets wrinkly, I don't really care. <laughs> but, you know, if you're a person who's concerned about that, then you can absolutely, um, you could absolutely press it if you wanted to with an iron or you could, you know, put it in between two book page, in between the pages of a book or something to, um, ooh, this isn't bad. It's not as wrinkly as I thought it was going to be. Okay, so now let's paint the other side. And I think I want to kind of keep those colors kind of going. Hey, Keely, how are you? My sweet... So I'm just going to keep going with these same kind of colors. I love when these two meet because then they just create like this gorgeous, um, uh, that's way too dark. This gorgeous periwinkle, isn't that pretty? So let's just keep getting some more water. And if it feels way too much, then just take some paper towel and dab it off. Like that's just feeling way too dark to me. So let's get some. Some of that lighter color. Some of this blue. And just keep coming in with that water and just softening that edge. We just want that edge to be. We want it to look kind of flowing into one another. We might have to come in with some of that lighter purple and work that, work that, um, work that edge with like an, a lighter shade of purple. So maybe it's not as, not as prominent, that edge. And just know, like you can do a coat and maybe you feel like, mm, I want that a little bit darker or a little bit lighter or. I don't know, I want another color on there. We can absolutely do a couple layers. I find that drying in between each layer of, of paint really helps me. It helps me, it gives me that little moment of time to ponder so that I don't, you know, um, I don't rush myself. Everybody take a drink of water Hi, Nancy. So I'm gonna show you how to do the egg and then we'll do all the extra pieces. Okay, so let's take the first egg and just hit it with the heat gun one last time. And then I'm gonna fussy cut that and I'm gonna show you um, I'm just gonna fussy cut these two eggs. So I like to just leave that little bit of edge. I don't know, there's just something about that painty edge to me that I just, oh, I love it so much. So mine's not right on the, I never cut right on the lines. Never. That's why I'm not a quilter. I try. I'm just not an exacty person. The things I'm exact on are, um, 
well, 90% of the time it's just happenstance, but <laughs> there are some things I'm exact about, but um, art, I feel like, should be free and breezy, you know? Okay. Now let's fussy cut this one. It's feeling like I need to um, dry it just a little bit more. <laughs> There's so many parts because Carmen created so many samples and like every each one is as cute as the next one i'm i'm seriously i can't i can't tell you and when when i was creating this i knew i wanted something with lots of texture and lots of um you know i love drawing flowers and so i was like how can i do them different this time because i always draw flowers and um when I decided to create something with um, more of a, I knew I wanted some um, type. I wanted some text as part of the create of the images. Oh, then I just went to town. Okay, so now we're gonna take these two eggs, right? The front and the back, and we're going to glue them together. And I'm using my art glitter glue. I love this stuff for a multitude of reasons. Number one, it does give you just a little bit of wiggle room. And um, it, um, it has this needle nose applicator, which is about the bomb diggity. I'm just gonna tell ya. You go round, 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 round. And I'm going to leave a little opening so that we can stuff it, just like if we were making a pillow. I know, I love the music notes, too. You know what, Keely? This, these music notes are from music that I bought at the Canton Flea Market 100 years ago during one of our girls' trips. You know, I'm just always collecting junk because, you know, I can make something out of that. So I'm just gonna trim my little edges that didn't meet up perfectly. And then I'm gonna set this aside to dry before I stuff it. And you can stuff it with whatever you happen to have. I'm just gonna use Kleenex. You could use crunched up paper, you could use whatever. I just think Kleenex, everybody's got Kleenex right? I think I might have done that with the last whatever in the heck Carmen created. So look, there we go. We're just gonna let that dry. And while we're letting that dry, we'll paint something else. So um, another thing that Carmen created was this art, this banner. So I want to create these images, but I want to create them to maybe be a card front, right? I want everything to be something that you can make a, ba a banner, a card, or an ornament. Like maybe you have one of those trees that you can hang Easter eggs on. That's kind of cool, right? Or maybe you just make one that's like a door hanger. That's cool. So let's do these flowers and I'll show you some fun stuff that we can do with that. So I'm going to, and these are just on copy paper, like I said. Oh, and then we have these flowers that we're going to, I created these kind of like, a, you know, people are like, is that a, whatever flower, um, they're all just figments of my imagination. So you know what? <laughs> I might be thinking about sunflowers, but then it just turns into kind of an Ann flower. Everybody take a drink. 
Okay, but I want these, so I'm gonna hold off on these. I'm gonna start doing these to match my, this egg. So I'm gonna do these same colors and then, because then I've gotta let them dry too. So, let's come in with some of this purple. And if you'll notice on these, so this, these pages, you know, you have to be really careful um, what you create with, um, um, what, copyrighted material, right? So this, the dictionary that I took these, the, this text from is so old that it didn't have a copyright. So I felt safe creating with it. So you'll notice that this big flower says spring, has the definition of spring. The middle flower has Easter. And the baby flower just has text because it was so small that you couldn't really, <laughs> I couldn't really find anything that to fix it, to fit it that, you know, you could really tell. So I'm just, again, I'm just mixing right on my substrate. I'm just kind of doing some, ta-da. A little bit more lavender on there. And then I think I wanna do a little bit of that purple, but I don't want it to be so dark this time. So maybe I'm gonna really add a lot of water so that I can just get the hint of that darker purple. Mm -hmm. Hey, I saw this cool, um, little, um, I don't know, maybe it was in a reel or a, I don't know. Anyway, it was on, it was something that I saw today. But, it, uh, you know, I'm always looking for profound words for myself, ways to set my day, all of those kinds of things. Okay, so while I'm drawing these, I'm going to tell you what I found. So this lady said, every day we are presented with two choices, evolve or repeat. What will you choose? Shut up. How brilliant is that? Evolve or repeat? Well, that made me think about how I'm gonna evolve every day, you know? If you don't have this heat gun, it's worth the investment. I'll tell you, a couple reasons. Number one, it is quiet. <laughs> so I can use it on camera. And two, it gets hot pretty quick and so it dries things pretty quickly. Okay, so for this flower, we're just gonna fussy cut these little bitsy pieces. And I'm just, I am a, isn't it, Keely? I was like, seriously, evolve or repeat? I mean, I'm, I'm just a girl who's always on a constant quest to just be a better me, you know? So I'm just roughly cutting around these petals, right? Hey, Lita. I know, wasn't it good? I just thought that was so interesting. And it's one of those things that I will just, I will make a little, I will make a little um, index card with some kind of art on it and letter that. And then I will absolutely put that in a place where I can see it every day. You know, I'm the queen of, and you know what, I get, I come by it honestly. My mother was the queen of, she left um, positive affirmations and those kinds of things all over our home. Usually like on the um, back of the front door because you would see that before you left home, right? or the refrigerator door, or the bathroom mirror, or your bedroom mirror, 
like all of those um, places, you just see it and then you just, um, you just kind of soak that in, I think. Okay, so there we go. Now, to make it dimensional, we're just gonna snip, 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 all the way around. I do have a good mother and she is coming to visit me next week. I can hardly wait. I can hardly, hardly wait. So I'm just gonna snip all the way around. And I like that it's got those colors, right? The colors on top of the text, I love that. I love um, that it's got these loop-de-loop -loop petals around the edges and that I'm snipping it, so you're gonna get even more texture and um, just dimension and lots of visual interest. I'm trying to see where I started. Hey, Lisa. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So we're just gonna do the frilly flowers. that um, are gonna adorn our Easter egg, right? I just need to know how many minutes am I in? I know I only have an hour, so if somebody can keep me on track because time is not showing for me. So now we're just gonna flick these around the edges, right? And if it feels like your petals are too thick and they're not they're not working the way you want them, then guess what? You can go back and cut them some more if you want. I just like to, there's not much, um, there's not much fibers to break up in copy paper, right? It's, the, it's different than watercolor paper where we wanna try and break those fibers by moving it around. But, um, but by just wiggling it between your fingers like that, it's gonna start to loosen up and get a little more pliable, and then we're gonna get some really fun results. A thing that you might consider is painting the back side because, um, because do you see when you have your flower adorning your egg, the back side is gonna show a little bit, so you might consider that, right? I'm only 22 minutes in. Oh, thank goodness. <laughs> oh. So, hey, did you guys hear about this? Um, the town of West Sacramento. I told this story. You know, I love to get me a nice story from NPR. So here's a nice story from NPR. The town of West Sacramento has gathered a herd of 400 goats to help keep the vegetation under control so that there are to um, keep wildfires at bay. And the, um... oh, absolutely, Jimmy, it will totally work. It will, t yeah. You're just gonna, it's just gonna be a little stiffer. I printed, um, I have some printed on watercolor paper too. I thought if, I, if time allows, I could um, paint those too because then um, that could be, you know, I don't know. If I did it on watercolor paper or cardstock, I swear, isn't that brilliant, Lens? 400 goats and they, so it said, the thing that I read said that those goats um, can, like the amount of brush that they can eat in a day, holy gosh, it was crazy. It was like two acres. They can clear two acres of land in a day. 
why in the world would you not, would more people not do something like that? Do you know what I mean? You are handling an, a natural phenomenon of, um, oh, thanks, Stacy. <laughs> well, I do have the gift of gab and sometimes I just get blabbing and creating and, you know, Oh, do they have them in New Mexico? Oh, that's interesting. No, well, the the story that I read was West Sacramento, which I thought was, I mean, look at that. The goats are being sustained. The, um, the brush is being cleared in a natural way that's not producing, you know, pollution or anything. I just thought it was brilliant. What a great idea. Cowboy Max from New Mexico. Oh, well now I'll have to read about Cowboy Max from New Mexico. 300 grazing goats. Really? Well, you know I will, you know I will, Lindsay. <laughs> Especially when it's something like this, because you're imagining, I mean, I don't want you to create exactly what Carmen and I created. Create your own thing, right? Um, take my art and, you know, let your imagination run wild. I love that. I like to teach process, not project, right? So I can teach you processes, like, I just believe like if you give an artist a process, they will take that process and run. What did you say? He's on TikTok. I'm not on TikTok. Oh, they're doing all that on the hillside. Too. That's so brilliant. I love that. So Susan, what Bay Area are you um, are you talking about? Like San Francisco Bay? I lived in San Francisco for a couple of years, a long time ago. I loved that city. I still do. Did you love, I'm telling you, I loved Candace, Candace Ann's um, bunny with all the flower, the Eastery flowers. I loved that. I was just at Trader Joe's the other day and they had bunches of daffodils for $1.99. So I was a big spender and I bought a bunch of daffodils for each one of my girlfriends that lives here and just, Gave them some little sunshine. I mean, there's nothing more springy than a daffodil, is there? I just love a daffodil. Hey, Kathy, how are you? Welcome, welcome, welcome. I'm so glad to see you here. So now I'm just rolling these um, little fluffy feathers, right? And then I'm just gonna do that. Just that little wiggle. Milpitas, okay. Oh, that's awesome. I love that. So by just rubbing, like wiggling it between your thumbs and your forefingers, you're breaking the fiber down a little enough that you're gonna create um, just a little more pliability, right? So look, stop it, stop it, look at it. I love it. Now we have the biggie to do, and then we can create a, 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 a flower, and then we can do our button center, then we can stuff our egg, then I can show you some other stuff.
I just love these weekends. They just, I'm telling you, the Ornamentally Yours weekends are so um, exhilarating. Oh, thank you, Anne. They, that makes me feel tremendous. Thank you, thank you. I make art live every Tuesday and Thursday on my Ann Corvier Scott Design Facebook page. You can join me every Tuesday and Thursday at 9 a.m. Arizona time. Live, or you can watch the replay anytime you want. One day a week we do card making, one day a week we do art journaling. So we almost always use one of my art printables within your art journal. Um, I'm gonna teach you some cool background stuff. Last week I showed you how to draw a flower, like how to break down um, flowers into shapes and patterns. You just never know. You never know what's gonna come out of my noggin. Mm -hmm. 30 minutes. Yikety yikes. You know, it's, I always preach like you should never rush, but when, you ha when you're when you making art, you should never rush. You should just enjoy the process. But when I only have an hour and I like to blab a lot, <laughs> sometimes. Yeah, it was weird in the beginning of the, I mean, I just started this little small business at the beginning of the pandemic of going out on my own. I mean, I was, I've been on lots of design teams and designed for lots of people before, but being just me, it's so funny. Um, when I started, it was at the, be well, who knew? <laughs> Who knew that we'd have a worldwide pandemic, but um, because that wouldn't, you know, if I would have planned it, that might not have been the best time to start a small business. But um, because we were all locked in at our homes, I just started to do these little Facebook lives where we just made art together um, from my kitchen table. And at first it was so weird to... Um, just be talking to myself. <laughs> it was so weird. Um, but it's kind of weird. Now I don't feel like I'm talking to myself. I feel like it, we're having a conversation. I just can't hear you. But I see you. I see you when you write back and forth to me. I love that. Okay. Almost all the way around. Okay, what did somebody... Um, yes, so um, we don't change, Susan. Arizona's time doesn't change. So we are, yes, we are the same as Pacific right now. Which is such a, you know, that daylight savings time, it's such a weird thing, isn't it? I was saying during one of my, um, one of my pop and paint parties, I always knew... We always knew when it was daylight savings time because a whole bunch of people would always be late for church, right? <laughs> okay, so now let's start stacking them. Oh, I want to frill these a little bit more. And I think I might want to paint the backs. That'll be prettier. Mm-hmm. <laughs> So let's paint the backs and then um, and then I'll stuff my egg. And it doesn't have to be um, with any precision because you just want your edges to have color. Do you know what I mean? So I'm not 
like doing my mix like I did in the front. I'm just doing my edges with the kind of the periwinkly um, the purple and blue that kind of mixed on my palette to create kind of a periwinkle color, which is such a pretty color, don't you think? I just love that color. I'm so happy that it's the Pantone color of the year because it's so pretty. I love it because it's so, like you can't really tell if it's purple or purple or um, blue. It's kind of right in the middle of purple and blue, which is a nice thing. Okay. So while we're letting those dry, I'm gonna bring my egg back over here, find my opening, right, and then I'm just going to take my Kleenex and just kind of wad it up, like scrunch it really small and then pull it out. Do you know what I mean? So I get, because you just want a little dimension in there. It doesn't really have to be of any particular shape. Carmen used fiber fill, I believe. Um, last year with the Easter eggs that, um, that I, my last year's Easter eggs for my art printables, I think she stuffed with just crunched up paper. So I like to just kind of um, take a, a paintbrush and then kind of open up that Kleenex a little bit so that I get a little, you know, it's kind of, well, there we go. Just moving around a little bit. And then I'm gonna close it up with some glue. I shouldn't have I shouldn't have left it unplugged. There we go. Okay, now we're just gonna pinch these close. I mean and if you wanted to, if you needed to move on to something else and you didn't have a second to hold this until it kind of took hold, you could absolutely put a paper clip on here to kind of just hold the edges. But I think we're doing good here. There we go. And let's get these a little shot with the heat gun. And then Carmen used some really pretty lace to um, wrap each egg. So let's do that. Show you here. There we go. Do you see how each egg has a loop of, of um, lace and then she topped it with the, fl the frilly flower and then did two holes across, so you could string some ribbon all the way across. And then she did another hole at the top so you could have just a puff of um, different ribbons. I'm going to do one of my favorite things in the world. <laughs> and that is, I like to take, um, seam binding and I like to just make it to match whatever I'm whatever I'm creating so because I've got purples and blues I'm just going to use um, a bigger brush and I'm just going to create some like a little bit of dye <laughs> so to speak. Let's have a little more water because we want it nice and watery. And then let's just get some, right? 
and just kind of move that around in the color. So the color, the watercolors that I'm using are, um, they are, they are, um, Prima Marketing, but I think it's called Art Philosophy. That's the name of it now. So I'm just going to keep painting. So I had bought all of these palettes of Art Philosophy, um, paint palettes, but I found myself just using the same paint palettes all the time. And so my friend Tessa and I were talking about it and she said, what if we put them all in one big palette? And so that's what we did. Shut up, look at that beautiful color. So makes me so happy. Okay, I'm gonna wipe that up. And then let's hit that with the heat gun. And I like it to be crinkly, so I like to really like keep scrunching it in my hand. Sometimes if I want it really crinkly, I will put it in like a junky um, plastic bag, like a, you know, like, you know those flip top sandwich bags and scrunch it up and just twist it so it's super tight and then just leave it overnight. And then in the morning, it's super, it's super crinkly. I love that. I love when it's all crinkly. How am I doing on time, Kiehl's? Well, I'm not gonna be able to use that one just yet, but let's do this. So now we can take Carmen's lace. And we can wrap that right around. And she did a cool thing. So she wrapped it like this, right? And glued it. And then she tied it. So I have some embroidery floss that I'm gonna use for my button. But look at that. We could totally use that embroidery floss. So I'm just gonna show you one egg. You can do as many eggs as you want, right? You can, I mean, think about that. You, The sky is the limit, right? You could do three, you could do five. Odd numbers are always the most um, aesthetically pleasing, but if you wanted to do them, I mean, think about all the possibilities. just a little bit more. There we go. And we're gonna flip this over and let that dry while we do this. So let's take this flower, the big one, and we're gonna scrunch that just a little bit more around the edges. Do little, 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 right? Just kind of shape it with your hands. And we're gonna take the second flower, we're gonna do the same thing. Shape it with your hands. And I just wanna really work on do, 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 fluttering those petals. And this isn't to say that you can't do this once it's all glued and down and everything. You absolutely can. And you know, sometimes like in storage between this Easter and next Easter, it's gonna get smushed down. That's all right. Now let's do the same thing with this one. There we go. Now, 
I have a purple button. And I'm going to thread. Mm -hmm. There we go. Hey, Judy. The flowers are made from... The flowers are made from... Um... I printed my, so you're going to download my printable, which is called Hippity Hoppity. And then you're going to, I these are printed on copy paper, but you can print them however you, you know, on whatever substrate you wish. Okay, so shut up, you guys. I'm loving it. Okay. So now we can put that there. And then we can tie this with the embroidery floss and then trim the edges right hey Dolores so I'm gonna kind of scrunch it up so it's a little bit closer to the egg and then tighten it and then tie it in a knot Go tight. That one tight and then that one tight. Super cute. And this floss kind of kind of um, blends in with the lace. I love that. Okay, so now you know how to create the um, the eggs, right? And then you're gonna punch holes right here and right here and string them through your um, ribbon or twine or whatever you want it to, whatever you have in your stash. And then if you choose, you can do a ribbon cluster up here. You can punch another hole and then do just a little um, ribbon cluster off the top. Look at that, right? All those, all those different ribbons. So think about your ribbon stash. You could use so many things from that. But now let's, I really want to show you what Carmen created with um, the flowers that originally, she said, that looks like an octopus. <laughs> okay, so here we go, right? So this little banner, look at how cute this is. Right? So let's do a flower here. And what couldn't we do an egg, a flower, an egg, a flower, right? We could do whatever we want. So we have this style of flower and this style of flower, right? Where she painted the um, zinnia sort of looking flower here um, in a couple different colors, contrasting colors, right? The center is different color than the petals. You could do whatever you want, whatever's aesthetically pleasing to you, right? And then she used the title from this. I Seriously, I just love this idea. She just cut the title, Hippity Hoppity, that I lettered just as the title, and she saw the potential. Don't you love that? Don't you love that um, we each see things such in such different ways, right? I drew it and she just went to town. I'm telling you, I'm the luckiest girl. I have the best pals. Okay, so now let's paint this. I'm going to do it kind of in the same, in the same colors, right? So I'm going to do maybe 
my plain petals in the purplier color. And then the text petals I'm gonna do in the blue. So then I'm kind of, I'm still getting the same, same, I'm still in the same color family and it's okay if one goes, um, absolutely Stacy, I will absolutely post a picture. Uh, well, I have many pictures of all of these. And I hope that you guys do too. You know, as you create, please post pictures. We love that. As artists, we love to see what other people create with what we've created. There's nothing um, just more satisfying than seeing your imagination go crazy over something that came out of our imagination. Do you know what I mean? So, how am I doing on time? I'm on Facebook Tuesdays and Thursdays from 9 until 10 Arizona time. I'm feeling like I really want this to be a little bit deeper. I want the colors just a little bit deeper. Let's get some more purple. The thing about um, copy paper is you don't have a lot of time, right? So we have to come back um, and move that color pretty quickly. So I'm just coming back in with a wet brush and moving it quickly. But do you see, for me, look at this. Look at how this is, because I just splatted a couple different colors down here. Look at, we can do these dots. We can do some with more, um, more concentrated color, right? We can do a little bit more concentrated color at the tops of these petals, and all of that is gonna give you nice dimension, really nice. Wet my brush and come back in and just do that jiggy jaggy blend. Wet, tap off, tap on your paper towel or Kleenex in this case, whatever you've got near you. And then just soften that edge. And look at how that already has created this amazing, um, just this amazing dimension. Like you're, you, I feel like my goal is to create form. I wanna create form in almost everything I paint, right? Okay, some of these I wanna come in and soften. So I'm just coming back in with that wet brush that I tap off and then tap off onto my, onto my paper towel, All right? And you can just keep, you know, you can create, you can create whatever color palette just kind of speaks to you, you know? I'm just mixing some, um, another blue in here that I'm just kind of feeling. Give that a dry. I know I'm getting close on time, but um, I am the last class of the day. I just wanna show you like one more thing, I think. 
or maybe two. <laughs> Let's try that. Okay, so when it came to this, we're going to take a drink. And you're just gonna use some dimensional glaze. So my dimensional glaze is journey glaze because I went to a um, Fun Stampers journey party a long time ago. And um, I, um, needed to buy some stuff so I you know what I always buy tools like things that I can use multiple times so um, I bought this journey glaze but if you have glossy accents or crystal lacquer or um, nouveau drop you know you can use whatever you want just clear and so I'm just gonna come in And cover each one of these circly shapes with dimensional glaze and then we're gonna let that dry and it's gonna take a while so we need to not touch it I'm saying that to me more than to you because I'm the queen of, I can't, I've got it. You know what, this kind of stuff I usually do before I go to bed because I know myself. I'll just feel the need to touch it and then be mad as heck when there's a big fingerprint in it or it blurps out. So. And just note, here's the thing. You can, I mean, that just takes a little minute, right, to fill each of those. But you can, I mean, I'm going through this process quickly because I have an hour. But think of the time that you could take creating um, more and more and more dimension, right? So I just watercolored and then put my dimensional glaze on there. But look at how you could come back in with your colored pencils, come back in um, with um, gel pens, come back in with like a sparkly gel pen. Um, what's this, what's the one that sparkles? Wink of Stella, like that would add like a cool dimension, right? It just adds that little bit of shimmer. You could add stickles if you wanted, I'm not a, stickly glittery person, but some of my best friends are. But just think that you could, I mean, you can just go to town, right? So I'm going to just start painting this flower. <laughs> Extra petals on the top. What are you talking about, Carol? Okay. Oh, thank you, Peg. That's so nice. Thank you, thank you. We are a good team, Miss Carmen and I. We, I'm telling you, we talk about what we're going to do next months before. Don't we, Carm? Months before. We start to, like, hash out a bunch of ideas. Look, so we're already, we're already planning what the one that we do in, um, <laughs> In the fall is, we, like we're already starting, like our wheels are already starting to turn. And we both, we just, our energy just feeds off each other. Oh, thank you so much, Judy. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Carol, I still don't know what you mean about extra petals on top. I don't know. I'm just gonna start painting. And then you tell me to add dimension. Yeah, this one has petals. Um, this one, I feel like um, because we've added dimension here, I don't want to add more dimension on this. I always feel like there needs to be like one focal point. I might add some, um, some white gel pen to this.
So I'm just gonna do these petals. I'm doing this. You could absolutely, yes, you could absolutely cut out more petals. That's what I'm saying. You can, you mean, think about it. These projects are, um, there can be so many ways that you can make it your own, right? Just don't claim it as your own, right? That's the number one rule for artists. Don't steal somebody else's artwork and say it's yours. But you can say, I took this class and I got this big idea and then I shared it and then Anne used it on her website. <laughs> I'm always on the lookout for artwork that I can add to my website as samples because people, you know, don't you want to see many samples, like many ways to use a project, a piece of art, right? A, an art printable. That's my business. That's my, um, I mean, I draw for lots of companies, but my Ann Corbier Scott Designs is drawing art printables. And that's how I make my living is teaching classes and, um, creating um, art printables for you to make more things with. So um, please, if you get the chance, go and check me out at com. Please follow, like, and subscribe to Ann Corbier Scott Designs on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And then ask to join our um, private Facebook group, Let's Get Artsy with Ann Corbier Scott. That's the only place that I can post a file and that is, um, and you know, I just, every now and again, I post a little freebie in there. Or um, to get into the private Facebook group, you need to answer three questions. One is to get on my newsletter distribution list. And you'll want to do that because sometimes I give you homework for the following week's um, art journaling or the card making or like special supplies that you need to get or some research you need to do. Oh, there's, it's a, there's always something fun going on in there. Absolutely, Melanie, absolutely. Glossy accents, um, crystal lacquer, diamond, whatever that is. Um, I don't remember, it's, man, I haven't used that in a forever in a day. But anyway, you get the idea, like you can, um, any of those um, dimensional glazes, right? And these, like I said, are just printed on paper. We haven't even we haven't even started painting them on watercolor paper. I know I'm almost I'm out of time, but just know that that's like another whole. Um, that's another whole dimension of this art printable is that we can print them on watercolor paper. I did, but I haven't used them yet. So I have them on watercolor paper and now I can make cards out of these. I can make, um, oh, who knows what I'm going to make something fun. You'll see. Um, so I will be posting projects that I've created, um, throughout the next week. Um, I have a busy weekend this weekend, but then, um, you never know. You never know. Sometimes the mood just hits you and you can't stop yourself. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? You got to just keep going. So I hope that everybody had a blast. I hope that because I sure did. And I hope that, um, everybody makes something with this art and then shows me, please post it so that we can see what you've created. We can't wait. Thank you, Sue. Thank you, thank you, thank you. I adore you all so much. And, you know, let's just keep making art together. I can't wait. And be sure to check out my Lena art printable that is um, the fundraiser for the Ukraine. It is Ukrainian eggs. Um, and as always, it's always named after a person who, a woman who inspired me. 
these were is um, on my website there's a little blurb I write about her a little tribute and so be sure to check that out because there's even more eggs come on we do these kinds of these kinds of dimensional eggs with this too come on eggs 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 thank you all so much and I will see you in the other classes. Thanks so much, everybody. Bye.